So listen to the short idea and pay attention to what happens to your understanding of the rhythm of this track when the kick drum comes in. Okay, so if it felt weird like the kick came in at the wrong time, this is known as metric ambiguity. And in fact, the kick didn't actually come in at the wrong time. Your understanding of the rhythm was just incorrect. Okay, so now if we go and we have a look at this little ARP that I wrote, the way you experienced this ARP was that all these F notes were landing on the downbeat, when in fact they were landing on the second 16th note over here. So what your brain was telling you was that this pattern actually looked more like this. And if I have copied that over to when the kick drum comes in, this is kind of what you'd be expecting to hear. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the definition of metric ambiguity. Metrical ambiguity occurs when the metrically malleable pitch durational patterns have the potential for different interpretations by the listener. So your interpretation of this arpeggio when you first heard it come in was that the F, this first F note over here, was landing on the downbeat, on the first beat of the bar, when in actual fact it was shifted over. But without any context, there's no ways you would have known that unless you heard like a kick drum or a metronome or something to tell you where the downbeat is. And how did I achieve this? So uh, there's, there's two ways that I achieved this. One was to uh, omit the first A flat note over here so that we started hearing, so that the pattern started on the F. And this immediately tells you that this is the downbeat. Another way I did it was by lengthening these F notes to emphasize them. So they really started to feel like they were on the downbeat. And this is one of my favorite psychoacoustic phenomena. I seldomly hear people using it, and if they do, it's usually by accident. One of my favorite examples of this is a remix by Adriatic of Stefan Bodson's Atlas. Pay attention to the little kalimba or marimba or whatever it is, the little arpeggio that's playing through this break as it comes into the drop. Now, the first few times I heard this song, uh, the high note, the bing, was where I was expecting the kick to come in, but it doesn't come in there. Instead, it comes in a few measures before that emphasized note. And there's another thing that makes this effect so awesome. The more times you, you hear the song, the more your brain adjusts to it, and it starts to get used to the downbeat not happening when you're expecting to it. In fact, your brain starts to shift the downbeat into the correct position. So if you listen to that song enough times, you won't be able to hear the metric ambiguity anymore, but somebody else you might show to will be able to hear it. So it's quite a novel effect that only, only happens the first few times you hear a song. And to me, that just kind of gives me goosebumps because it's, it's just such a crazy cool effect. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I think it's a really cool effect and I'm definitely gonna try and use it more in my own music. And I'm sure you guys will too. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you at the next one.